Unit 13, Signs and Terms, is really easy and straightforward from the Fundamentals of Piano Theory. So I'm just going to roll through it really fast. Um, this is just kind of like a review from terms of the last book and adding on some new terms. So our dynamics, this is the section on all of our volume dynamics. It means the volume, how loud or how soft you're playing. So we have pianissimo, piano, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, forte, and fortissimo. And that's going from very soft to very loud. We have a crescendo, which will be placed underneath the music. And that means to gradually get louder or a diminuendo, which can also be called a decrescendo, means to gradually get softer. Our articulations refer to how we touch and release the keys or how we place emphasis on the notes. So an accent, strong emphasis, legato, smooth and connected, staccato, short and detached, and tenuto, hold for the full value with slight emphasis. And I always compare legato and tenuto, meaning the same. Um, tempo refers to the speed, how fast or how slow you're playing. So we have allegro, which means fast. Allegretto, which means somewhat fast. Andante, walking tempo. Andantino, slightly faster than andante. So con moto, with motion. Lento, slow. Moderato, moderately. Retardando, gradually get slower. Vivace, lively, quick. And vivo, lively. When we're changing the tempo, we can say a tempo, meaning going back to the original tempo, or a retardando to gradually get slower. Um, and here are some character and style terms as well. We have cantable, dolce, um, giocoso, and scherzando. Some more terms, the newer ones that they've added in for this book, we have DC Alfine or Di Capo Alfine. Go back to the beginning and play to the end, which is the fine. A fermata sign, which means to hold a note longer than its full value. A grace note is played quickly either before the beat of the note or on the beat of the note, depending on what time period you're playing. The solar means to play legato. Tie means to connect the two notes and add the values together. The octave sign, if it's placed over the notes, play it an octave higher. If it's placed under the notes, play the notes an octave lower than written. This is the pedal sign. We put our foot down, keep it held down, and lift our pedal up. And these are just a couple of different repeat signs. So this is the answers for the word search or crossword puzzle, not a word search. Um, and that was it. Very, very easy, straightforward.